guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Eye family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look that I have going on right here. For this look, I'm using the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place. You've probably already seen this palette floating around on social media. This one has been out for a little while now. I think it was released just before Christmas. Christmas, but I've only just now been able to have a chance to play with it and actually do a dedicated makeup tutorial using this palette. I have already used this palette before on my channel in my Tagalog makeup tutorial, but I wasn't really going in depth into the palette itself. I was more just concentrating on actually speaking Tagalog in that video. So in today's video, I'm going a little bit more in depth in detail into the palette itself. I'm pretty sure I used every single color in this palette on my eyes today. I'm actually quite impressed that I really, really like this. This is probably the most neutral boring, non-colorful look that I have ever done on my eyes before here on my channel. If you've seen any of my videos, you would know that I'm into the bright, vibrant, colorful eye looks. So yeah, this is probably the most neutral-ish eye look that I have actually ever done on my channel. So if you guys enjoyed this look and in, like l really like this type of look on me, then let me know in the comments down below. Or if you do enjoy my brighter, more vibrant, colorful looks, then also let me know in the comments down below. I always appreciate your guys' feedback. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this look using the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 eyeshadow palette, then just keep on watching. Before before I go any further, if you guys do enjoy this video and you enjoy my content, then please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday three times a week so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Eye. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Going into the Warrior palette in the shade Zazz, I'm going to use that to set down that concealer. Taking a Morphe E23 brush into the shade Yodit, I'm going to use that shade to blow out in my transition. I'm going to take the shade Kana and apply that in the same spot. I'm going to take a small tapered blending brush into the shade Jamata and use this to start to deepen out the outer corners of my eyes. I'm going to take that color quite tightly into my crease as well, but not blend it up any further than my crease itself. Because these are matte shades, I'm actually quite curious to see how these shades will apply with my finger. So I'm going to take my finger into the shade Zama and apply that on the inner part of my eyelid. Okay, that's applying really, really nicely. Not bad for a matte shade at all. Actually, really, really good for a matte shade. Now I'm going to take my finger into the shade Dayura and apply this between the orange shade and the outer Jamata shade. I'm going to take that small tapered blending brush again into the shade Jamata and redefine that in my crease. Taking this Morphe M433 brush into the shade Kufuru and I'm going to use that shade to deepen up my crease. I'm going to take my finger into the shade Zazz and apply this on the absolute center of my eyelids. I'm going to take my finger again into the shade Zama and redefine that on the inner parts of my eyelids. I'm 
taking this small angled eyebrow brush into the shade Showata, I'm going to use this and smudge it along my lash line. Almost like eyeliner. Gonna use my finger to smudge that along my lash line. I'm just gonna clean up under the eyes before I go in with my base. For primer, I'm going to be using the Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. Now I know I usually blend my foundation in with a sponge, but today I wanted to try something different so I'm going to be taking the Morphe M439 foundation brush and use this to buff in my foundation. Hey! Okay, I think I kind of like that. That blended in so quickly. For concealer, again I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Hit that under the eyes, forehead, down the nose, upper lip, and chin. And again, I'm going to use that Morphe M439 brush to buff that in. For contour, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in the shade 220. It is a foundation stick, but a shade much too dark for my own skin tone, which is why it works perfectly as contour and it blends in so very, very nicely. This is my new favorite way to apply bronzer slash contour. I'm loving applying this with a brush. It just blends in so nicely and quickly. Hey! And now to set all of that down, I'm going to use my Morphe Translucent No Color Powder. And for that, I'm just going to use my beauty sponge. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Morphe bronzer in the shade Vlogger as per usual, what is new? I need to find a new bronzer to show on my channel because this is like legit the only bronzer I'm using at the moment. For blush, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place blush in the shade Bella. And as you can see, it is quite an intense pink, probably more suitable for darker skin tones. But I haven't used this one before and I just wanted to try it and see what it looks like on my skin. So here it goes. I'm just going to go in with a really light hand first off and build up if I need to. That is an intense blush, but I actually don't hate it. So sorry if you do. Some people don't like intense looking blushes but I'm not minding how that's looking at the moment. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to go in with the shade Zazz on my finger and apply that on the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm going to also use this shade as an underbrow highlight. I'm going to take this Morphe M433 blending brush again and go back into the shade Jamata and reapply that above my crease. I didn't realize it wasn't recording, so basically all I did was, with a small tapered blending brush, I took the shades Jamata and Kufuru and blended that out under the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the shade Zama and blend that out even further under my lower lash line and really smoke it out. I want my eyes to be a tiny little bit more vampy, so I'm just going to take this NYX Scandalize Waterproof Cold Black Eyeliner into my waterline. Then I'm just going to use my finger to smudge that into my lower lashes. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Lash Paradise and apply a decent coat of mascara and I'll be right back. I'm finding this look a little bit bottom heavy so I'm going to go into that small tapered blending brush again, take it into the shade Walzana and use that to further deepen out the outer corner of my eye. For lips, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Loopy Stick in the shade Taurus, and it's a nice creamy brown shade. I'm just going to set all of that in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And for highlight, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter in the shade Nefertiti. Oh! And, um... Um, 
sure that is intense. There has to be a better way to apply these loose highlighters. Maybe with a brush? There's an idea. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I actually really surprisingly enjoyed using this palette so much. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I actually did because as you can see, it is an all matte eyeshadow palette. Whereas I'm definitely all about the shimmer colors on my eyelids, not for transition or crease shades, but definitely shimmers on the inner parts of my lids. But I'm actually really, really digging my look right now. I didn't think I would like it because obviously I'm more of a colorful look type of person. Whereas I know this is not what very many people would call a neutral eyeshadow look it is actually for me because I love to use bright colors on my eyes but I actually really love this palette I wasn't quite sure how I would feel about the matte colors because I found that some Juvia's Place matte eyeshadows are a little bit harder to blend and more patchy but this palette absolutely stunned me it is so freaking good the matte shades are so pigmented and they blend it out really really nicely they weren't patchy or bumpy at all they're very very smooth and really creamy and beautiful so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Again, I put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I really, truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. The Warrior 2 Pilot and use that to, you know what I just realized? I'm using my brand new Warrior 2 eyeshadow palette that I bought for a giveaway. And I have one somewhere that I've already used. Shit, sorry guys, I guess I won't be giving this one to you then. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> anyway. I'm just gonna keep on going. It's done. I've touched this palette. I can't give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Anyway, as I was saying, when I take that shade Zama, I'm so annoyed with myself. Ooh, where's my palette then? Where is my actual palette? Using the L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible. I'm gonna go take I'm gonna take that fluffy M4. I used the angled blending. Um, so basically, all I did was more vampy. So I'm gonna take 